What is up, cannabis dispensary owners? My name is Samuel Fisher from Green Dispensary Marketing. Back again, I want to talk to you guys today about costs that are ruining your dispensary. Um, some of the pain points in having um, a typical standard old form dispensary. Um, what a new dispensary, what the new age dispensary looks like in 2024. Um, and how you can start doing that, stabilizing your income. And stop having all these overhead costs that eat up your budget and cause you to pull your hair out and ask for help. And so right here, this is an example of somebody who's doing a parasite SEO strategy. Uh, this is something I'll talk about later on. And so this is actually one blog post, uh, which made this $80,000, $85,000 in two months right here. Um, here here's another person um, who's gotten good at knowing how to market via text and email. And this was just a $36,000 uptick in one day that they weren't really expecting. Um, and it's really easy to do this if you are to cut out the old way of running a dispensary and start to jump into proven 2024 strategies. And so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Um, here are the three costs that will ruin your dispensary. Um, number one, if you're on Weed Maps or Leafly, um, here's a little industry secret for you. Uh, you will get initial benefit when you start to invest on paid ads for this platform. Then it'll top off, then it'll become minimal. It, it's a very simple reason why this happens. Um, it is because it's a pay to play system. The highest bidder wins. Um, and it's very easy for people to start bidding higher and higher and higher to the point where even they are getting an ROI. It happens all the time. So a lot of people will just depend on Weed Maps or Leafly for their marketing since it's a proven place to get business. Lots of people just depend on them, trust them. However, it's a pay to play system. And so if you involve yourself in this pay to play system, you're just going to have to continue bumping up your budget, your budget, your budget, instead of focusing on organic strategies that can boost your traffic to the same level. And secondly, are these slow days where you're just paying all the bills but don't have any sales. Think of like a Tuesday where you have everybody continuing to come in as normal, but you just don't make any money. And this can be very frustrating because in these days you'll be going under the water, investing more than you're making. And then finally, it's just the piling up of all these miscellaneous overhead bills, whether it be licenses, taxes, wages, utilities, and so on and so forth, association fees, uh, maybe ad costs, these weed maps, leafly investment costs, and they just pile up to the point where you're investing more than you're making. And if you, as any business owner knows, if you continue to invest more than you make, you will soon quickly be underwater and out of business within months. And so this is all part of the old way of running a dispensary. In 2024, uh, we have a new system uh, for running a dispensary that kind of avoids a lot of these issues. But if you're stuck in this old way, you'll be depending on weed maps and Leafly for exposure and sales. Uh, you'll be paying for just tons of ads on these platforms. Uh, they're a trusted platform, right? Everybody goes to them. And so it, it seems like common sense to go to them. And it seems counterintuitive to be focusing on other strategies just because it's something that everybody does. However, if you continue to do this, you'll just be investing, investing, investing. Maybe you'll get the initial benefit, but it will level off and go down because it's a pay-to-play system where other people will come in and they'll outbid you. And so I would recommend that you just cut this whole thing off uh, stop letting people outbid you and just be smarter than the crowd. Um, secondly, uh, it's just you kind of just hope you maybe have a good location, maybe you have good prices, uh, maybe you even have the best product. You just hope for people to come in based on these factors. Um, however, it doesn't always work out that way. And if you have minimal sales on slow days, uh, it, it just is very difficult for you to justify these sorts of costs, uh, whether it be for wages for your products, for your inventory, for your management, uh, taxes, so on and so forth. And then finally, um, typically dispensary owners, uh, the old way of running it is they'll just continue to pay these bills and not seeing them as investments and just let them pile up and pile up without getting quick ROIs. Because uh, there are many dispensary owners are very business savvy. They understand that you have to invest money to make money. However, when you have these high overhead costs um, it can quickly result in roller coaster income, causing you to get stressed out, causing you to throw your hands up in the air, and maybe even close your business. It's happened over and over and over. And so I actually have a new way um, of running a dispensary that can help you stabilize your income, cut out these overhead costs, um, and start to 
give you some more freedom. That way you can go to the beach, go and relax, spend less time at the office because that's what we're trying to do, right? So here's what the new way of running a dispensary looks like. Um, so first of all, we do not give a dime to eBaps or Leafly. Maybe just the initial investment where you're just getting a nice little chunk. Uh, but after that, we're done. And so it's because we don't want to pay to play uh, in this business. Uh, there's many different ways of organically boosting your business. And so there's no sense in paying to play in 2024. Um, and secondly, let's focus on your dream customers. And so think of that client that you have come in that just makes your day, that you just love them to death. Constantly saying good things about you, your employees, so on and so forth. We want to keep them coming back. And simultaneously clothe them and having others like them start to come in more and more. And so I'll talk about how to do this in a second here. But just imagine that. What would you give if you could clone your dream customer, have them come in over and over, uh, what that would be worth to you, and whether or not you would rather invest in that than having a platform like Weedmaps or Leafly. Next up, we want to stabilize your income. It's one of the things that can be very stressful for a dispensary owner is just have this up and down, up and down, up and down income. Um, it can make it so that they even get stressed, very stressed on these down days to the point where they start to get maybe a little angry, a little ticking a little bit more at their workers, um, micromanaging a little bit more. It's all very normal on those down days. And so we want to stabilize that for you so you can have more time at the beach, less time at the office, and less time on the phone doing these meetings, less time micromanaging, uh, less time receiving reports, digesting reports going back and forth with your manager. And finally, another thing that you want to do is maximize your online presence, both on your online dispensary and ideally starting a national store where you can sell nationally legal products like CBD, Delta, THCA, THCO, those sorts of things, publishing yourself on major publications and getting just free traffic, essentially free traffic and sales uh, from people who just want you to send their product. And so, uh, when you were to do this correctly, it looks kind of like this. This is a, I've shown this a little bit early. This is somebody who's practicing what we call parasite SEO. And so this is just one page right here uh, where they made 80 some thousand dollars. And so these are actually, uh, this is something that we offer here at Green Dispensary Marketing. Here are some of my author tags. My name is David Fisher. You can see my author tag right here. Um, and here's actually some rankings. And so if we're doing this well, when people are searching things like best THC gummies, best marijuana seeds, best THC cartridges, you'll be ranked for them organically. And so you can see these red dots right here. These are actually our articles um, that got ranked for these terms. And it's not easy to do. And so here's an example of a site that was practicing Parasite SEO throughout 2023 and just how they boosted their traffic up to over 2 million in a month. It's pretty impressive, is it not? And so we have three steps for you to go to this new system. If you're interested in going to this new system, here's what it looks like. You need to first start looking at your on-page optimization. That includes local service pages, link building, insight optimization. From there, um, if you want to start to get some immediate revenue and sales, I would advise you to look at retargeting campaigns. Uh, that, that's essentially how we're going to clone your dream customers. And we're going to do this using SMS marketing and email marketing. Uh, we're going to go straight to their buying habits see the kind of products they buy and reach out to them based on their habits. Instead of just sending these massive lists, uh, which can get spammed out, um, uh, have terrible delivery rates as opposed to this one right here, uh, making sure that the customer actually is engaged with the content, willing to receive it and coming into the store. And so when this is done correctly, uh, this is a report that, uh, from one day of sales from just doing a simple retargeted campaign. And so this is just a simple little uptick uh, just from doing a simple retargeting campaign. So that's what that's the second step. Finally, if you want to shoot for the moon in 2024, um, I would highly recommend that you do what Tommy Chong is doing, doing what other big giants in the industry are doing, which is constructing a Parasite SEO store, uh, posting yourself on major publications. And so it looks kind of like this. Uh, here's an actual example, Home from Cannabis Co. Here's a sample. It's our client. Uh, this is exactly what they do. If you're interested and you would like... Uh, my agency to do this for you. We have three simple packages for you. Um, if you just want the simple SEO, uh, service pages, link building, site optimization, 
uh, listing, building, uh, that sort of thing. Our, our entry level package is fifteen hundred a month. Now this is going to help you clone your best customers and also bring in some new ones that are just like them. And so it's a very it's a simple way to cut leafly wheat maps out of the market, uh, beat them organically, and then also help stabilize your income. Secondly, if you want some immediate relief. Um, I would highly recommend that we look at not just SEO, but also SMS and email marketing. Um, this is also another way that we can help you clone your best customers, bring in new ones, and also keep the best ones coming back. If you lose touch with your customers, odds are that they will eventually move on to another dispensary, stop seeing you. However, if you were to consistently just stay in touch with them, offer them specialized promotions, uh, stay in their inbox, data has shown that this is a great way to keep them coming back and spending money at your dispensary. Finally, those who want to shoot for the moon, uh, you want to start getting some wrapper money and not just uh, some simple dispensary money. Um, I would highly recommend we look at a Parasite SEO store and also promoting it on major publications. And so this is something that we can do for you. Head over to greendispensarymarketing.com if this sounds like something that you are interested in these packages. My name is Samuel Fisher. Um, would love to help you stabilize your income um, start cutting back on these overhead costs. Um, and that way you can spend more time at the beach on vacation as opposed to constantly worrying about your income. Uh, talk with you soon. Once again, my name is Samuel Fisher from Green Dispensary Marketing. Hope you have a great day.